Ethiopia Hamadin Ture Kenya, the director of the film. So let us start. So who is uh, uh, an entrepreneur? A uh, young entrepreneur in our context is that African boy or girl that is able to think beyond his nose, that is able to think 5, 10, 20 years to come, what African will, will he or she will want to live on by not migrating from Africa but by investing in Africa and achieving those great things. So what is my first advice to such kind of people? Is first that uh, do research, learn, read. I can shorten it as the RRI formula. Read, research, and invent. After thorough reading and research, then you will be at a better position of inventing a new thing. My uh, elementary school teacher, we call it primary school in Kenya, used to tell us that the best way to, social, uh, to solve a social issue is to educate. So trust me, if you're not educated, if you don't have the right information about something, you can solve nothing about it. So we have to be readers. We have to be up to date about the new technologies, up to date about new trends in the world and in Africa. As a young African boy or girl, we have to know what blockchain chain technology is and what are the seed points that it can provide or present in agriculture, in transport, in energy sector, in education and all other sectors that are critical to any economy. What is, what is the place of the GIS, the Geospatial Information System, in improving a country? And what is the place of software development and engineering and coding in the place of developing a country? Apart from all those, we also have to be ready to read about the successes of people who have at least made an history in Africa and beyond our borders. The second thing I can say is that start small. No one will support you will know that you have the capacity if you sit there and wait. You have to prove to the world that actually you are interested. You have to make a move. Even if it's going to be one step a year, it will be five steps in five years' time. And that's the value of starting small. I attended a session that someone defined a lack. Lack is equal to putting the plus preparedness. So, as something present, uh, 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 opportunity presents itself, how much prepared are you? Do you have a business that you had started, that you had registered, that is running, that can, one, someone can have an easy time of just accelerating because the prototype is already in the, in the market and the only thing that remains is scaling it up. It has been proven that it is working. Do you have such or you are just seated waiting for some money in heaven to, 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 for someone to give you some funds and just it is impossible. Another thing that is there, the third advice is that currently there are a lot of programs that are run, that are targeting three kinds of people who are considered lucky. If you are a youth, one. If you are a woman, two. And if you are a, someone with some disability, there are a lot of support for such people. And startups that are started with such kind of people always get funding very easily. So join some and research and join some investment 
adventure funding programs that target such groups of people. There are also investments that target everyone or anyone. They also have great opportunities and you can be able to pitch your idea. For such, you have to be exemplary. You have to come up with things that are disruptive, things that can actually attract attention of people and you can gain funding through equity and debt investment. Those are some of the few things that an average African youth should be talking about now and thinking about now because they hold our future. Thank you.